Hello, I'm Dan Jones from Dionysus Design, and I'd like to introduce to you the Trestle 3D printer. The Trestle word means a braced, structural, tower-like framework, and that really describes what this printer was designed to be. It's simple uh, and upgradable. It uses no printed parts. Um, all of the structural components are made out of either uh, laser-cut aluminum or CNC machined ABS. Uh, it's upgradable because it uses off-the-shelf components. Uh, I use E3D heads. Um, you could use J heads. Uh, really, any um, off-the-shelf component that you want to use, you should be able to use it. See me CNC. Uh, supplies the, the hotbed as well as some of the extruders that I use. The sliders are changeable. I chose to use Maker Slide from Inventables.com. Uh, there are other options from Open Builds, or you could use linear slides as well. But I chose the Maker Slide um, because it's it's easy and it's the most economic way to get uh, a very accurate linear slide in a 3D printer. Um, the sliders themselves have been designed so that you could use either three or four uh, bearings depending on your accuracy needs or your budget. Um, right now I use the Smoothie Board and Smoothie Firmware and I highly recommend it. If you don't want to, to use that, you could use the Marlin or any other off-the-shelf electronic board that you want. Um, it's completely up to you. The neat thing about this printer is its large build volume. Um, I advertise it as being a 12-inch diameter by 18-inch tall um, uh, build area, and that really means about uh, more than 2,000 um, cubic inches of build space. When I printed the Aria Dragon, I really did not utilize the height available, um, so this this printer can really build some some large items. And you can see the the Iron Man helmet in the bottom right. Uh, that was printed a couple days ago. Um, it's about a 70 hour print to get all of those parts printed, um, especially at 0.2 millimeter layer height. But um, you know the trestle is up to, for it. it. It will really be a strong platform for your printer. One of the other things that I've noticed about this compared with other printers is how quiet it is. Uh, really the, the extruder stepper motor as well as the power supply fan are the loudest components on this printer. Um, the, the ABS plastic frame parts as well as the aluminum frame parts really don't vibrate much when in operation. And so you don't hear the, the whining of the stepper motors as it's moving. Um, it's really quiet. You could run this in the house and really not be bothered by it. Uh, there's no backlash in the, the arms of this machine because I use the magnetic balls and machined out the hex screws to fit um, right on the balls themselves. This has provided a very solid interface and a very simple one as well. Uh, I use the uh, aluminum tubing from the hardware store. You could use uh, carbon fiber rods or fiberglass rods. Uh, I prefer the aluminum just because it's so lightweight and uh, it's the cheapest option available. Um, the belt adjustment is really quite easy. There's, there's a screw down at the bottom where the, um, the pulley block is bolted to the maker slide and you just loosen that screw and adjust the tension as much as you want and tighten the screw back up. Um, in the future, I'd like to, to continue upgrading this printer and, and see what else we can do. Um, I'd like to try some different things, maybe uh, tilting the, the, the effector head where the hot ends are mounted, uh, especially during uh, multiple extrusions. Uh, that would allow the the hot end that's not actually printing to be lifted up and so that any plastic that comes out of it um, when it's not printing will not um, be embedded in the part that is being printed. Um, I'd also like to try uh, different uh, electronic options. Um, maybe go back to the BeagleBone Black and 
be able to use a, a touch screen um, to download, slice, and then print all from the printer itself. Um, that's completely possible and really not that expensive to, to upgrade to uh, new parts as far as the, the printer framework is concerned. Um, anyway, I, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or suggestions about the printer, I, please contact me. I'd really like to see what the community can do to help improve this printer and uh, see what other ideas are, there are out there to, to really make this printer become more of um, a, a high-end, um, adaptable, um, customizable um, platform for all of the 3D printing possibilities. Thank you very much.